In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie the spider hitch loop knot. So this here is, in my opinion, the easiest way to tie a loop onto the end of your line. So it doesn't matter what you want to be using for if you're using this as your main line and you're connecting your leader. If you want to attach this to, I don't know, a swivel or a lure or something, you could do that. Or if you just want to tie a loop for maybe it's not even for fishing, but it's not going to be quite as durable as something like the Bimini twist, or there's a couple other ones out there, but it's going to be good enough for certain situations. So if you're not going after anything huge, you just need a simple knot that you want to tie really, really quick. This here is going to be your bet. I've never really had any issues with it. It's always held up fine. But if you are looking for something quick, easy, and strong enough for most cases, this could be your best bet. If you want something a bit more stronger, it's going to be harder to tie, but there's also the Bimini twist. So I'll leave a link for that down below, but both are great options and are going to be something you want to learn how to tie. All right, so before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1,000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting rule. We also have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're going to want to get your line laid out like this here. And the very first step is to double your line back. So we have the end of the line here. So all we gotta do is double it and make a double line just like that. All right, so we're gonna have one loop right here. And then what we're also gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make a second loop behind the first one. So all we have to do is make another loop just like that. All right, so we have one loop here and one loop here. What you then wanna do is you wanna grab this loop. So we're gonna grab it right here where all the lines cross and we're gonna hold it with our finger and thumb. So we're just gonna hold it just like that. All right, so we got one loop, one loop, and then we got our main line and tag end here. What you're then gonna do is you're gonna grab this loop here. So this is the very first loop we made and we're gonna take it and we're gonna wrap it around our thumb and also around these two loops here. So it's gonna go around the two loops, around my thumb. If we're using fluorocarbon or monofilament, you'll wanna wrap it five times around. If you're using braid, you wanna do 15 times around, okay? So I'm just going to do, I'm using thicker rope, so I'll probably just do like three just because I, I can't really do any more than that. But if you're doing with normal fishing line, do five or 15, depending on what you're using. And what you wanna do is you, you wanna wrap them around as nicely as possible. So you'll kinda of wanna go like that, and then you'll wanna kind of have them so they go just kind of like that. Like you wouldn't want them over top of each other or like crisscrossing. Try to keep them as nice as possible. So we're gonna do one, we're going to do two, and then I'm only able to do to put two here, but that's fine. If you just do five, you'll be good. And then what we're gonna have is loop, we're gonna have our wraps. And this loop that we were just wrapping around with, right? So we are wrapping around with this one. You're gonna take this and you're gonna feed it between the two loops here. So all we're gonna do is we're going to pass it through just like that. So we have our loop here. And all we have to do now is start pulling this loop, but you'll wanna go slowly and you'll wanna make sure that these wraps come off your thumb nicely. If you just pull it too fast, this will all come off as like one and they're gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna not look very nice. But all you gotta do is slowly start pulling it off. They should form off night, come off nicely. And then what I like to do is I like to wet this so either some water or spit, it'll secure it a bit better. But all you gotta do now is grab your loop and grab your two lines and slowly start pulling them together. What you wanna do now is if they're a little bit separated, you can bunch them up so you can slide the loops up and kind of work around with it make sure it looks nice make sure everything looks tight and make sure they are kind of all wrapped nicely. If they're jumbled up, you might, you know, kind of want to work, work around with it a little bit. All you got to do now, once everything looks really good is grab your loop, 
grab your main two lines and really cinch it down tight. Then you just gotta clip off your tag end here and there is the simple spider hitch loop knot. So if you do wanna learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's gonna kind of walk you through all of the, all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.